good morning from another episode of The Way We Saw It. This morning at Focas de Toro in Panama, we are leaving the Isla Colón and our guest house Casa Palmira. We are actually sitting here at the Selina Hostel, where we are not staying, but we are taking the boat from here to the Isla Pastimento, because there we are staying at the Selina. And the boat ride is five dollars so it's fairly okay five dollars per person and it should take us directly to Isla Bastimento Selena Hotel The little ship, the Red Rock. Put our life vests on. How ridiculous! <laughs> and we're gonna hit the road. to our hotel which is actually uh, up there that's our room in the jungle and there's a beautiful path here through the jungle to the beach and there are people coming and you're supposed to pee to <laughs> you're supposed to pee <laughs> You are supposed to see also some slots here and monkeys. So let's see what, what we will see actually. Unfortunately, we ca you cannot go from the Selina hostel to the main town of Pacimentos, where are uh, supposed to be lovely restaurants and where we wanted to go and eat tonight, but that's not possible. So we have to find other possibilities. On our way to the red frog beach, we sighted two strawberry poison dart frogs. They are not bigger than a thumbnail and they are endemic to Bastimentos Island. There used to be frogs all over Bastimentos Island, but due to the influence of tourism, the population has decreased dramatically. The biggest problem is the pollution and the destruction of their natural habitat. Action has taken place and the population is increasing again. If you are interested in more, Watch the Red Fox story on YouTube. We put the link in the comments section. And the whole island of Pastimentos is a marine park or a marine reserve. And 80% of this island uh, is like super protected. There is no, there are no hotels or guest houses allowed. And as I said before, this used to be the headquarters of Chiquita Bananas. Why? I don't really know. Maybe they for tax maybe there were bananas here maybe the, this is a tax oasis it used to be well at least it's in Panama so but there's nothing left of this we have arrived to the beach and look at this this is paradise it's a little beach bar here where you can chill and relax and some deck chairs and the water is actually cold but I don't want to complain it's so beautiful so after exploring the beach a little bit we are chilling now here and we got a little bit hungry actually it's already four o'clock we only had breakfast and I wanted to have actually ceviche but it was not available so I'm having a Greek salad in Panama <laughs> yeah, looking at and Marty has a, what is this again Buddha bowl. a Buddha boy there's some brown rice, veggies, and hummus. This is, we, 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 I think we're gonna be a vegetarian soon. I don't know. Let's see. 
But with this view, the food is really unimportant, isn't it? My first time in my entire life, I never did before. Picked up the Australian slack line. First time. First time. So the beach day comes unfortunately to an end and the sun went into the clouds, went away and we had dinner here actually at Nacho, Nacho, Mama's. Nacho Mama's. Uh, we had a, it was sold as a grilled fish but actually it was a fish from the pan. Pan fried with so butter. It was a little bit disappointing but the better option is uh, uh, Palma. Palma where we had the very good lunch or the Greek salad and the Buddha ball. Marty is still very zen. <laughs> and we are staying actually here in Red Frog in the Selina. Selina is an upcoming or new chain all over Central America or many countries of Central America. And it's kind of like a hip thing. They have co-working spaces, do pool parties and all that. But it's still a hostel and we have tried now three Selinas in Costa Rica and also here in Panama. So in uh, Costa Rica we were in uh, Manuel Antonio and San Jose. And here we were in Red, Red Rock. <laughs> There's one in Bocas Town also. Also in Bocas Town, there. yeah. We had just went there for a beer in the evening. And you know, we want to give you a feedback and also for all the people who are watching these vlogs to prepare for their travels or get information about the destination where we have been to. We can definitely not recommend you to stay in the Selinas. Unless uh, you're backpacking. Unless you're a super backpacker and you uh, like, uh, like the hostel experience and like to stay in uh, dormitories with 12 uh, beds in one room. We always book the private room or uh, yeah, private room with a private bathroom and we of course were also expecting maybe a little bit the service of that hotel room and I must say they also charge quite a lot for those rooms but they sold us deluxe rooms sold us deluxe suites. suites or unique room or whatever but they are not and the common kitchens which you can use are super dirty super I mean I Filthy. <laughs> I can go down a little bit with my expectations but when it's at one point when it's well anyway, I you can see the pictures and make your own opinion. And also you have to be aware when you book a room in a Selena, a deluxe or a private room or whatever, private room, you will only receive the hostel service. And the service from the reception staff is very often basic. Basic. There's if you ask for anything or housekeeping is not done etc they're very friendly but they try their best but they're not there yet so maybe we have to try it again in a year or two and yeah this was the way we saw red frog beach today hope you enjoyed the vlog with this beautiful sea the island is beautiful definitely worth a visit and please press the like button and subscribe if you haven't done so see you soon in the next vlog bye Safe travels always. <laughs>